Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net and I'm getting the error 404 page not found while accessing the Yoast SEO XML sitemaps. Now this is my AvoidErrors.net website and here is a test website I created. I'm going to take you uh, to the beginning. Now if I access from the AvoidErrors.net website the uh, Yoast SEO XML sitemap, it gives me that 404 error there it is and this is my website now on my test site if I do the same access the uh, XML sitemap it works fine so I started uh, looking what the problem could be why does it work here and not on my website so I follow some instructions given in the uh, SEO uh, support, SEO by Yo support, but none of that worked for me. Now I have a few links there. If it doesn't work, then you can try doing what I'm showing you right now. Now this is my test website. I access the uh, edit files under the SEO by Yoast plugins, and I notice that the HT access here is clean. Looks good this is keep in mind the test website now if I go to my website here and I do the same go to edit files under the SEO by Yoast the XT access file is huge and if you notice here most of the entries are created by W3 total cache now in your case I would recommend to delete all the plugins and then do any edit in the HT axis if you need to but do not edit the HT axis if you don't have a backup already created now let's start doing a backup of the HT axis before we continue on in my case I'm not gonna delete all plugins just W3 total cache so access your web host via FTP and locate the XT access HT access I'm sorry it should be located in the root directory just drag and drop the HT access file to the desktop and that's it once you have created that backup now we can continue on editing the uh, HT access file now head over to the plugin section and like I said if you want delete all the plugins in my case I'm just gonna delete the uh, W3 total cache because that's the only plugin uh, creating entries in my HT access done now once that plugin is deleted or all the plugins are deleted head back to the uh, edit files under the uh, Yoast SEO plugin and here delete all entries except the ones highlighted here the one that says begin WordPress you keep that and delete everything above it just like the test site because the test site is a newly installed website so it should work okay now I'm gonna highlight everything and delete if something goes wrong no need to worry you already have a backup of the HT access anyways now once done I'm gonna do a comparison yeah everything looks good you can't copy and paste this because there's some uh, text here that uh, belongs to this specific website okay now once done save changes to the HT access done now head over to the XML sitemaps and I can guarantee you it would work fine there it is now it's working 
So the next thing to do is to make sure that your website is working as well. I'll just remove everything after the uh, .NET. Oh, it's working fine. So the W3 total cache was affecting my website. Now, just for the heck of it, you know, I'm just going to reinstall the W3 total cache uh, and see what happens. Okay, it's already installed. Let me go to the XML sitemap. Yep, it's not working. Now keep in mind this is like the last resort. In case the uh, links I provided there by uh, Yoast support didn't work, you can also try what I just did. Uh, thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.